Hello guys and ladies, this is Premium Milk. Here is the tutorial for the Newton Broadcast Package Essential Graphics for Premiere Pro. As you can see, I just opened the project file, the Premiere project file, and I find everything here on, a, on this sequence, everything you see on the preview, here is all the content. First of all, we will see how we will uh, replace our logo. Here, just put down your own logo. Let's make a reference. Let's say here is our new logo. Put it in the middle, scale it up, hide the other lo logo. And as you can see, you have to put it exactly in the middle and the logo it will be everywhere on all panels so this sequence is made for you of course you have all the SESA graphics here also if you need to, to make something new by copying all this folder the SESA graphics folder that includes all the mocap files here on this link for Mac and this is for Windows in order to appear here. Okay, let's continue. Here you have you are able to import the footage here. Let's import this footage. Get inside the logo ID, get inside the media placeholder and drag and drop your footage here. Scale to frame size because it's a 4K project. And here is the result. On the Newton logo ID one, you are able to change the text. Place your own text like this. There's a right series. You are able to change the font. If you don't like this Lato font, the Lato font, the link is here. It's for free, you can download it and work with it. And this is the way you change the text. You are able also, the most important now is to, set, to, to change the shape. So from here, you change the shape. Let's say we want a rectangle with a shape rotation 45. You can scale up or down the logo, the shape a little bit. Like this, you can put some roundness and have a new style. The thing is that you have to write down these numbers in order to put them all in all, all the others uh, compositions, sequences on After Effect. You do it just one time and everywhere is visible. Here you have to copy these numbers. So the color, you are able to change this color. As you can see, let's place some this color like this. And if you want also to change the tint color, you have to copy the color number and put it on your tint here so you have the same team color and here is the other color that is dark blue for the letters the text and the second color of the of the tint so this is the way you change uh, colors and shapes here is a date promo inside here you can see there is the text that you are able to change it here, get inside and change your text also as we see the shape properties and the colors. So the date promo has a date promo in that goes like this to the media placeholder. Let's drag and drop the media here. Okay, like this. And as you can see, the media 
goes to the tint color by using this position and tint amount so if you want if your video is longer you have to put here these keyframes like this in order to have the same result be careful the the media placeholder to be exactly uh, up to here so if your media placeholder is like this you have to find exactly where it is so it's here and this keyframes has to be here this is the correct and here you write down your text again excuse me here Friday let's change to Monday date promo write down your text and you have a nice date promo out let's continue after the date promo is the lower third it's the same thing you just write down your text here lower third there are three of them and if you want you can see that here on the content you have three lower thirds long short and long with social media here to write down one more text or the website whatever you want another logo ID And here is the time schedule that you have to put here your footage, two footage in order to appear like this. If you don't like the tint color, you can you are able to hide it from here. And the second clip here, let's bring another clip. Let's bring this clip. Okay, and here is another clip like this. This is the time schedule. Let's continue. Here is the another log ID. Here is the next. Everything works with the same thing. Let's play some media here. To see the result like this here is some transitions with the logo and there is another logo ID it's a, some logo animation with colors here is you are able to select the social media you want from here Vimeo icon, Twitter, and write down or leave it empty to put your own. Here is also the Facebook icon. So we have social media one and social media two. You will find it on the content. The credits here, you are able to write down your credits. The sponsored video. Also, just drag and drop your video here, and here is the promo at the end that has three kinds of, of uh, content: media placeholder one, two, three, and write down your three categories. And at the end, we have another time schedule with um, with window, not full full frame like this let's put also on the other one scale to fit media size frame size and here is the result of course if you don't want the tint you can hide you have to hide it from here or if you don't want 100% tint you can put 50% tint but 
it's almost uh, 100 is the best. So this is it, how you change, you customize this template. I hope you like it. Don't forget to rate. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.